friends nazim chagla with you uh, today we'll be doing only a legs workout each day we will do we will take a different body part and we'll work on that and we'll do several exercises from basic to intermediate and advanced it doesn't mean that you have to do one body part in a day you can do two body parts a day and then do the following uh, day another two body parts and you can carry on before i start the leg workout i want to tell you something that when people are heavy and they have put on a lot of weight they feel that they cannot reduce weight they cannot lose weight and they cannot become slim see if you keep in your mind that you cannot reduce weight you will never be able to we have something called frontal lobe this is the front brain which perceives things and then we act accordingly and if you say that oh this is something i cannot do you will never be able to do it because you have got a conscious mind and you have got a subconscious mind so consciously if you think that you cannot do it your subconscious body will give up and they say no this is something that you cannot do it you do every day day to day life work from your subconscious mind so you have to consciously say to yourself yes i can become slim i can become strong i can become athletic whatever your goal is you have to consciously believe in yourself and only then you will succeed i will give you some example at the end of the workout and then you will believe that yes it is possible that if you think that you can do it everything is possible so today we will be starting only the leg workout and then tomorrow we'll go with the other body workout so let's do a leg workout with me we'll be starting with the stretches doesn't matter you work out only your legs or you to do two body parts before you do any exercise you have to stretch your muscles and make sure that uh, your your uh, your body is sort of a free and comfortable only then you attempt exercise otherwise you can have uh, you can incur injury all right so let's start our uh, leg workout and you start you do it with me so let's start our warm up exercises before we do any exercise we'll do some stretches and even if we are doing legs we will still work out on our upper body as well because you need to sort of mobilize your entire body and not only your legs so we'll start with the favorite qigong exercise go like this take a deep breath and push it and take the breath out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out do three times bring it in take a deep breath and push it and breathe out twist your palms like this breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out bring it in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out then turn around and breathe out breathe out take a breath in now breathe out breathe in breathe out now open your arms and look on the side as far as you can breathe in breathe out breathe in stretch your arms breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out relax like also if you are a computer person and you are always looking down with your head like this then don't do too much forward but if you are just a normal person then you come down and breathe in 
breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Then you go on the side, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, in, out, in, out, in, out. I do three, move, three moves on each direction and I think that's about good. Go like this. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. So three times each side is fine, then you rotate completely, breathing in. When you breathe in, take a circle. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out and then put your arms here on the shoulder, your fingers on the shoulder and go rotate like this, breathe in, three times. This is your upper body warm up. Now you have to warm up your legs. So now that we have stretched our upper body, now we should stretch our lower body. So just hold on to something and then go straight with your leg. Do three times. Then go a little sideways three times. Then go all the way sideways three times. And sort of crunch your feet like this. Okay, do with the other leg. On the side. And then go like this. You can also stretch like this one also. Make sure that your legs are completely warmed up before you attempt the leg exercises. All right? So I think we have done enough. Bend down a few times if you can. All right? Now we'll start our leg exercise. For those people who cannot do squats or lunges or difficult uh, leg exercise, they can simply sit in a chair and sort of uh, do some stretches with their feet like this, rotate. And the most important thing is your knees. And if you want to sort of uh, protect your knees, you have to strengthen the muscles which are just below the knee and above the knee. And the best exercise to do that is just stretch your leg like this and go straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. If you can do five, ten, doesn't matter. Then you twist your foot like this and then go like this. This is a very good exercise to strengthen the muscles just below your knees and above your knees. And this will sort of protect your knees as well. So go like this straight, one, two. You can do a few sets of this and then this will sort of massage it off. Some people have some uh, strains here around the kneecap and these are very easy to fix. If you can just sort of loosen your leg like this, you can see your patella is moving like this. It's a free thing. So you just push it down three times, push it up, push it on the side, push this side, then go diagonally, then go this way, the other way, 
and then massage it off with your uh, palms like this and you will see the, the, the tightness around your knees will free up and you'll feel very good. Young people, old people, at least you should do it once a week and you will see that you will not have a knee problem. Go like this, two, sideways, then go diagonally and massage it off and rub it off here. And you'll see that your knees will become very flexible. So we did our stretches on the chair. Now we will do the squats without the weights. So you just hold your arms like this, or you can go straight, whichever way you like, and you go down, breathe in, and you breathe out. So when you go down, you are breathing in, and you're breathing out. Just make sure that your knees are aligned with your feet. So they are going in the same direction and not going other way, otherwise you will have a knee problem. So go in. Now the same version I will do with the weights. So you will know the difference. So if you can do without the weights, you can do without the weights, but if you have got a dumbbell, then you'll do with the dumbbells. So depending on the number of exercises for legs you are doing today. So suppose if you are doing five exercises, then I won't recommend you do four sets of each. I would recommend you do only two sets for each exercise. So you'll have 10 sets altogether, which is quite sufficient. 10 to 14 sets is more than sufficient for any body part. So now we did the squats, so you can do it as a warm up also or if you just want to do without the weights, then you'll do a few sets, two, three sets like this, all right? And if you want to use the weights, there are two ways. You can either carry two, two dumbbells on your shoulder or alternatively, you can just hold the dumbbell like this, okay, and go down. So you can do 10 or 12 of these, it's just sufficient, all right? Then you take a break. So now we did two sets of squats, either with weights or without weights, it doesn't matter. And now we'll do two sets of lunges, and then we'll go with the other exercise. So how will we do lunges? If you are doing the dumbbells, it's fine. If you're not doing the dumbbells, you can do with the dumbbells. You can just take a step about two feet in front of you, and you just bend down like this and you come back again, you move back to your position. You take your foot like this, go down, and come back to the same position. So you do like eight or 10 like this. You can do a little in slow motions. You don't have to go very fast. Now, those of you who want to do with the dumbbells, they will pick up the dumbbells and they will do with the dumbbells. But those of you who don't have the dumbbells or who don't want to use the dumbbells, they should continue to do so. Sorry for the car noise outside. Okay, so those of you who want to do with the dumbbells, go like this.
do 8, 10, 12 like this and complete your two sets like this, all right? So we did squats and we did lunges, which is mainly targeting your front part, which is the quadriceps, but we have to build our hamstring as well, which is the back part of your thighs. And this is a very good exercise, it's called deadlift, but you don't need to remember all the names. All you do is you hold the dumbbells like this, or any weight you have got in your hand, in your, at home, and go like this. Breathe out. Breathe in. So go close to your legs. Don't go like this. Go as close as possible. Go bend down. And go straight. Bend down. And come up straight. Straight straight. Go slowly. As if you are rolling the dumbbells towards your leg. You'll feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. Okay, take a pause. Do one more set. And for your calves, what you do is you hold a pair of dumbbells or without the dumbbells also and just raise your heels like this. Hold it for a second. Hold for a couple of seconds, like this. Do few sets like this for your calves. So this is an excellent exercise for glute muscles. Glutes is your hip muscle. And when you're doing your legs, you have to make sure that you do two exercises of glutes as well, because when your legs are strong, your glutes are strong, then the entire lower core will be very strong. So take a dumbbell or a barbell or whichever heavy thing you have, put it here, sort of a, right at the bottom of your belly, and go straight up like a bridge. It's called hip thrust. And if you just hold on for a couple of seconds there, Go down, go like this. Normally for this exercise, you use a very heavy weight because then that will be more effective and useful for, to build your glute muscles.
So after doing two sets of hip thrust, what you are going to do is take the dumbbell, put it behind your knees, okay, and grab it strongly, and then go back like this. Go as far as you can, and then come down. Just hold on top for two seconds. After you've done eight or ten, just change legs and do from other side. So do one more set like this, and this will be the completion of your leg workout. Hello, <clears throat> so at the beginning of the program, I told you that you have to believe in something to achieve it. And I'll give you a real live example. Before 1954, before May 6, 1954, it was believed a human cannot run one mile in four minutes. It was medically proved, it was scientifically proven that if the, the human being doesn't have the lungs capacity and all those things. A young man called Roger Bannister, he was 25 years old, he was living in Oxford, England, and he said, well, I think I should be able to do it. And he practiced. And in 1954, he broke the record, which scientists believe that was not possible for any human being to run one mile in four minutes. And he did that in three minutes and 59 seconds. Now, the interesting thing is not that he completed that task in four minutes. The interesting thing is that soon after he did it, in 46 days, another guy, Landy, he finished that record in three minutes and 58 seconds. And soon after, 250 people finished that record. So what I'm saying is that when we think that we cannot do it, you will not be able to do it. And once you think that, oh, it is possible. If he can do it, I can do it. Once you have that belief, you can do anything. So I just request and suggest all my fellow viewers that if you want to achieve something in life, it's not only workout, if not having a good body or strong body or slim body or an athletic body, you want to achieve anything in life, any interest in life, you have to believe that. And where, that's where you use your frontal lobe muscles, that your brain, that you think of something and you see yourself doing it. You see, you picture yourself in that body or in that field or in that success. And once you do that, over time, your subconscious mind starts thinking that you're already living there and it makes it possible. So I hope that uh, you will start working out and you will also uh, do things of your interest and you will succeed in life. 
Thank you very much for bearing with me, and I wish you success in life. Bye for now.